Hi, I'm Shane from Genesis Off-Road. Today I'm here to show you our new dual battery monitoring system for the Jeep JKs. Now you may know that Genesis Off-Road makes the most complete and easiest to install dual battery kit for the Jeeps. Now we have our own monitoring system to go along with it that you can add on at any time. Today I'm going to show you all about it. We packed a lot of cool features into this tiny little package. So let's take a look. Okay, this little device we call the G-Screen. This is not your typical voltmeter though. It does show the voltage on your main battery and your auxiliary battery, but it does a lot more than that. It also functions as a remote status indicator. It'll show you if your batteries are connected, having the battery power combined together, or if the isolator has them split apart to protect your cranking battery from getting too far drained. This also functions as a push button so that you can activate the boost switch from inside the vehicle. Now, our battery kits come with an integrated boost button built right into the lid so that if you happen to have a cranking battery that's too drained to start the vehicle, you can hop out, open up the hood, hit the boost button, and jump start yourself off your second battery. But sometimes you don't want to have to get out of the vehicle. This gives you the convenience of having that boost switch inside. When you hold the screen down for three seconds, that will trigger the boost feature from inside. Okay, let's take a closer look at the screen. Here you can see the main battery is at 12.1 volts. When you press the screen, it'll switch over to the auxiliary battery. You press it again, there's your boost status. You press it again, there's the firmware version. This device is actually software updatable, so if we end up coming up with new features in the future, you can send it back to us, we'll flash it, send it back to you with the new features. So let's go back around, I'll show you how the boost feature works. If you come back to the boost off screen, that means that the isolator has the battery separated to protect your cranking battery. If I hold this button down for three seconds, as soon as that says boost on, that means that the isolator has, has connected the batteries together to jump start you off your second battery. And you can see that the screen has turned green here. Green means that the isolator has the batteries connected. Yellow background means that the isolator has them split. And if the batteries drop below 12 volts, the background will turn red just to give you a visual indication of how your batteries are doing. Now let's say you're not so concerned about the exact voltage of each battery. You could just leave it on the boost screen and when it says boost off that means the batteries are disconnected uh, and you can just come by every once in a while and, and take a look at it. Now after a minute or so that screen is going to go off just like that. That's just to save some of the battery power so you're not draining down your battery with the screen. The text will be visible all the time so if you're at a campground or you want to just walk by the vehicle and peek in the window, you can see what's going on. If it says boost off, you know that your batteries are starting to get a little bit low. If it says boost on, you know you're still fully charged. Okay, let me show you what comes in the G-Screen kit. This comes complete with everything that you need to integrate it with our dual battery system. You get the screen that also functions as a push button. You get the ribbon cable that connects you to the interface module which is a little circuit board that handles the sensing of the voltages and the controls and all the intelligence that's built in. And you get the complete wiring harness that goes through the firewall, across the engine compartment, and plugs into our battery tray lid with a single connection. There's a port, there's an interface port on the battery kit. You plug in one connection and a simple twist lock, and that's all it takes to install it. No wiring for you to have to do yourself. And there's a few options for mounting the G-Screen. You can put this anywhere that you have about one cubic inch of space. It does have uh, room for a panel mount. So you're going to put this through a panel such as the dash. This is a good spot for it right here. You can also go up here on the A-pillar plastics. If you have an aftermarket uh, switch panel for the A-pillar, this works well also. Just keep in mind that you need to have room available for the interface module to uh, be tucked out of the way. Now you may want to put this in the back of the vehicle, say you have a, a camper or a, a refrigerator in the back. If you have uh, unique mounting options, you can contact us. We can do custom length wiring harnesses if needed. Okay, here's one more mounting option for the G-Screen. This is an S-Pod switch panel that goes over the rear view mirror. You can order this with a little adapter that goes into the round cutout in the middle to mount the G-Screen right there in the center. If you already have an S-Pod, you can get that separately. Okay, this is our dual battery kit for the Jeep JKs. Let me show you how the G-Screen connects to the battery kit. 
for the monitoring system. This is our newest Gen 4 lid with all the components. Right here is the new interface port for the G-Screen and I'll show you how this connects. Okay, so to connect the G-Screen to your dual battery kit, we're just going to pop this dust cover off right here off the interface port and you'll notice that the cable is notched so it can only go in there one way. So we're going to line this up with the port and push that on there and then we line up the twist lock, give it a little bit of a twist and it's locked in position. And that's all it takes to hook up a dual battery monitoring system, the remote status indicator and the remote boost switch all with one cable. Now if you bought a Genesis off-road dual battery kit before we included the interface port, that's okay. You can still add on the G-Screen. We make a complete wiring harness that makes it as easy as possible to add the monitoring system on there. Let me show you how that works. All you have to do to add the G-Screen onto one of the older lids without the interface port is to match the colors. You're going to get this harness that has custom length wires that goes, lines up straight to where they need to go. The purple goes to the purple boost switch connection. This butt splice right here goes to the white wire that comes off the back of the isolator. Orange goes to the orange lead on the isolator. Red goes to the other side of the isolator. And then the black wire comes all the way across to the ground bus bar. You can run these wires right through the extra grommets right in here in the lid. Route your wires nice and neat. Keep all your wires uh, tucked in there nice and neat. Okay, so that's it. Now you can see that the easiest to install and most complete dual battery kit on the market now has the easiest to install monitoring system as well. If you want more info, check out our website, genesisoffroad.com for more pictures, installation instructions. If you have any questions, feel free to email us or give us a call. Thanks a lot.